Okay, this is another video. Uh, this is the second round of rubber compound. Got it nice and shiny this time. I hit all the spots that I missed last time. Oh man, it looks crazy. I fixed also that spot that was in the back. I did a touch up and a blend job. So that turned out nice. So lesson learned there. Okay, you gotta pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, I finally got comfortable with the uh, compound, well, with the uh, the polisher and buffer, uh, knowing what speed to use and knowing um, how much pressure to put down on it. Uh, I finally figured that out. So again, this is the rubber compound. I have not done the polish sealant yet. So it's an ever so slight haze. Uh, it's almost not noticeable, but I know that it's there. Certain angles you can see it, but uh, I mean, that haze is natural. It's supposed to be there until you put the polish and sealant on there, then it will get rid of it. So one more stage and it is done. So I'm impressed, I'm happy, it's, it's turned out beautiful. I've learned from my mistakes. I've gotten a whole lot better, a whole lot more comfortable with paint, with the buffing and polishing process, a rubber compound process, wet sanding process, a blending process. All these things that I, or mistakes that I make, uh, teaches me to be able to adapt to any situation from the fiberglass bodywork all the way up to uh, to the rubber compound touch up paint work whatever so I'm happy very happy with how it's turning out like I said I got to do now the uh, polish and seal it seal it and it is done it's cold out this month man it's like 40 degrees and I'm out here West setting and polishing. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm out here compounding it. But it's all worth it because it's all coming together. Uh, I'm gonna let this dry for a couple of days. Well, no, I'm gonna just wait for it to warm up a little bit. Uh, I think it's supposed to hit like uh, mid fifties again in about four or five days. But I did just wash it to get all that compound out of the crevices. What I like about that wizard, it is water soluble, so water breaks it down pretty easy, so it's hard to get it out um, out of the uh, cracks and crevices, no problem. So I am so like happy. It's beautiful, man. Oh man, so, there you go. All right. Once it's polished, I'll take another video. Okay, I have wet sanded the Mercedes CL55. Um, all the way up from 1500 grit to 5000 grit so because I did that I didn't have to uh, use a heavy uh, cutting rubbing compound instead I used the final cut uh, went with wizards final cut uh, compound and so this is the first pass it looks absolutely fantastic okay. There's a little bit of swirl in there, very light. Go over with the second pass to clean it up, but I have something else that I'm gonna use, another Wizards um, product. The final uh, Master, Shine Master Polished and Sealant. So I'll go over it with that. That's supposed to be better than wax. Uh, but they recommend using that after 30 days of it hardening the clear coat. Even though the bottle says that you can use it within 24 hours after you apply clear coat. The rep that sold it to me told me I should wait 30 days. Everything came out real good. This is the first time I've ever used the sander uh, polisher. Uh, what is it, a seven inch or eight inch, whatever. Um, I used the cutting foam pad. Um, there's no need to use the wool pad. I did mess up once. I did burn through the paint on the tail back here, up under the CL55. I burnt it. I sure did. You see that? So, 
I'll be doing some masking off and respraying back there. But that's my fault. That was the first time I, like I said, I had used it. I used it on the, the, the deck lid first. That came out fantastic. Uh, but I still had the speed up too high when I came down here and I angled the sander and it cut right into it. You can see the smoke and everything from me burning it. Crazy, man. <laughs> My baby girl right there. What'd you say, Jador? You got your boots on? Say hi to the people. Say hi, Jador. Jador. Say hi. Jeez. <laughs> All right, well, so I messed up on that. I'm so pissed uh, because everything else turned out great, but that's the part of learning that I hate is making mistakes. It's hard to see it out here. I can't pull it out because it's raining. I don't want to get it wet. I still have to put the one more pass and then do the um, sealant. So I don't want water on it unnecessarily, especially this dirty rain water. But came out pretty slick. I said there's one pass. Uh, I don't know. I gotta do some research. Should I only hit it one time with the with the uh, cutting compound? It does a fantastic job. Um, this stuff is water based and water soluble. And so the first moments of you using that uh, cutting compound it does the cutting but then it follows up with the polishing once it starts breaking down some people like it some people don't I do like it very easy to use as long as you understand the process of using a polisher not to keep it sitting too long and not to have it revved up too high for your intended purpose and say that's where I slipped up. Yeah, but it's a part of the learning process. So stainless fantastic. Oh yeah, this is the cutting compound that I use right here. Boom, right there. Final cut. I so said I think it turned out real good. I know that it turned out real good. Okay. So like I said, I gotta fix that, man. I gotta fix that. Look at that. Burn right through there. Look at that. Look at that. That is so jacked up. Oh man, I'm pissed about that. But if you look at the reflection, it's a little dusty from the compound. But I mean look at that. Oh that reflection. It's pretty good, man. Pretty nice. Now that is some reflection. Now this is the factory. This part right here. The pillar right here. That's the factory. And that's what I did. Haha. -ha. Pretty nice. I'm impressed. Alright, so it's all coming along. I left a little bit of orange peel to make it look factory. I didn't want to go too absolutely flat and cut too much of that clear. I'm gonna keep some of that factory looking orange peel. Now what you're seeing that reflection right there is the ceiling, texture of the ceiling. You can see it in the paint, look at that. Look at that, look at that. It's beautiful, man. It's good, man, it's real good. I'm happy with that. Mm. If in this project you're learning nothing else, uh, patience is a virtue. The Bible says that, and it's so true regarding fiberglass, uh, fabrication, uh, bodywork, oh God, painting, I mean, it's all polishing, waxing, it's all patience. If you don't have patience in these, these kind of projects are not for you. Go buy one at a dealership or a used car from a private owner and just keep some wax on it and call it a day. But if you want to go heavy modification or something unique and special that nobody else has, well, go put in some work or have a whole 
have a big bag, be able to pay somebody to do it. You're gonna do it yourself. Patience is a virtue. All right, updates later.